Shalom. I can first and foremost, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Waha, Rakakwadash, double honors to our elders, the apostles of Great Millstone, and honors to you brothers who are out there doing the work in sincerity and in truth. All right, this lesson is going to be getting into dealing with brothers with different spirits because that's what every brother um, is going to run into in this in this faith in this journey of ours all right and um <clears throat> you're gonna have to know how to do that of course um the scriptures we'll start with john 13 35 by this shall all men know that ye are my disciples if ye have love one to another okay but we're all different. We all make up the body of Yahweh Shai. Okay. So an example of, of brotherly love. That's what I hope to do in this lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai is to edify on how on, on pretty much the details of that, of how brothers have different spirits and how you can be compatible. All right. And I'll just go to the next scripture. This is 1 John chapter 5, verse 2. By this we know that we love the children of the Most High, when we love the Most High and keep His commandments. For this is the love of the Most High, that we keep His commandments, and His commandments are not grievous. So number one, the first way to love brethren is by keeping the commandments of the Lord. All right? Do right by our brother, how the scriptures say, do right. All right. Through the commandments of the Most High. But, you know, most of the time, and this is what I want to get into, a lot of times you're going to run into brothers who may be the opposite of you. You know, for example, you may be a high energy brother. You love to bounce around. You love to move around. And the next brother, he may be a low key. I always want to stay at the house. Don't really talk a lot. You know, and sometimes to the brother who, who has high energy, the, the, he may think the, the low key brother is, uh, is standoffish or something, man. Or you have those Jakes who's always sleepy, man. You know, <laughs> like I say, you got Jake who who be sleepy all the time, or or they they want to rest a lot, or different stuff like that. And you know, pretty much when you're dealing with the brothers, you're gonna run into just different things, and you have to judge it according to the spirit. You know. Is this man violating in in the in the scriptures? Is he going against anything that the scriptures are talking about? Is he going against anything that the camp is about? Or do you just have a personal problem with him? You know, and you have to think on that level, and this is how you can have balanced judgment, you know, about a, a certain situation. Because every brother in the faith, this is something that you're going to run into. This is something that you're going to see. You like another Jake is going to be doing something that you wouldn't do. All right. And then you're going to have brothers who are just like you. But all in all, we're one body. We're all together in this thing. And like I was saying before, you have to deal with a brother according to the scriptures the way that the scriptures say do. Now, if a brother's going off according to the spirit or he or he's doing things that's contrary to the brotherhood. Or he got that long warrior spirit, because a lot of times small things can lead into big things. OK, then you, you need to, you know, talk to the brother having admonishment. 
But in another note, like some things, like say, you just have to understand that sometimes this may be how a brother actually is, you know, you and I'll speak on another type of brother um, that I've noticed, like just type of type of spirits you run into. You will run into that spirit who who you got to watch like a little brother. Like when he go and, and do something, you got to kind of like look over a little bit. And be like, oh, oh, yeah, that don't mean the brother's wicked or anything. But, you know, you have to look at him like, oh, OK, yeah, he's good. He's good. He's good. <laughs> you know, because of because you may know him on a level to where. If you don't watch him, he, you know, he could be a hothead or, or he could he could he could do something, you know. Or things can happen, you know what I mean? It's it's all part of being a, a part of the brotherhood, man. All right. Now, let's uh, go to 1 Corinthians chapter 12. And I started to start at the top, verse 22. Nay, much more those members of the body which seem to be more feeble are necessary. All right. And those members of the body, which we think to be less honorable upon these, we bestow more abundant honor and our uncomely parts have more abundant comeliness. Now, I want to go back to the top where it say which seem to be more feeble or necessary. That's why I was saying what I was saying in, in the beginning. You're going to run into different spirits and bros are going to be different. And all because you could put out. You know, and you got certain brothers, hey, certain brothers can put out about eight videos, 10 videos in a week, you know, and, and just going. And another brother may just be doing three or four, you know, but at the same time, that don't mean that that brother's not through the spirit, you know what I'm saying? Or he may have a different way of breaking things down than you have a different way of breaking things down. He may not be well versed in in in, um, in in breaking down history and stuff like that. He may be good at breaking down the Illuminati. It may be just different things like that. Like I say, and even on a personal level, when brothers fellowship and different stuff like that, he may be a a, a brother who don't want to eat meat or something like that, man. And you can't look at him. Like he ain't shit or like he's a weirdo or something like that, man. And sometimes Jake may actually be kind of, you know, uh, I guess you could say weird a little bit. We come from all walks of life, you know. But anyway, uh, going back to verse uh, 23 and those members of the body, which we think to be less honorable. Uh, upon these, we bestow more abundant honor and our uncomely parts have more abundant comeliness. So just like you see a brother in the camp who holding the camera, who holding the sign, who, who holding posts, who just, uh, who, who, uh, pretty much just bring out points or, or certain stuff. You might not see them on the forefront a lot, but these brothers are very important to the faith. All right. It's like going back, backtracking a little bit. Like I say, guys, yeah, we all have different spirits and a way of doing things. But at the same time, every brother who's doing the will of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah properly is important. All right. It's very important to the body. OK, and that's the bigger picture of it all. Verse 24. For our comely parts have no need, but the Most High have tempered the body together, having given more abundant honor to that part which lacked, that there should be no schism in the body, but the members, but that the members should have the same care one for another. Okay? So, we all in this thing together. You know, there is no reason for, you know, division amongst the brotherhood. All right. There is no d reason for 
or brother, especially if y'all in the same camp, you know, there's no excuse for a period, different camp, same camp, but beefing or holding a grudge or not liking somebody, <laughs> you know, for what? You know, we all waiting on the Lord to come back, man. Okay. All because a brother doesn't want to go out like you. Or all because a brother doesn't want to stay home like you. I've 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 seen that as well. Like a like a a Jake will look at a, a another Jake funny because he wants to go out. He wants to go to a bar or something. Or, or he just he, he just like going places, being on the move. And you can't and looking at you can't sit out because you're at the house and you're choosing to study um, during this time that that brother's out. Don't mean that that brother's not studying, that he's not doing what he got to do. You know, that doesn't make you better or anything like that. So you can't look at yourself on a higher level like, yeah, look at me, spend all my time doing this because guys who had that mind frame, they've all. They're, they've all fallen out, man. And guys who have that mind frame, they're on their way out. Okay? There should be no schism in the body, man. Okay? And it says, and whether one member suffer, all the members suffer with it. Or one member be honored, all the members rejoice with it. Now ye are the body of Yahweh Shai, and members in particular. All right. So we make up that body, man. OK. You may you may make up the chest as part of that body. And another brother may make up. the. the he may be uh, somewhere where the feet at, man. You may not relate. You may relate with the other brothers who make up the chest with you. You know, but like I say, you have to understand these different spirits. All right. You you have to look at them from a spiritual point of view with all these different men, because in America, it America teaches you to say fuck that nigga to anybody that's different from you that disagrees with your way of thinking. Or has a different point of view. America teaches you to to stray away from any type of diplomacy, any type of peace, to start a gang war, man. That's what America teaches you. That's not what we're about here, you know. And this is Ephesians chapter four, verse eleven. And he gave some apostles and some prophets and some evangelists and some pastors and teachers for the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of Yahweh Shai, till we all come in the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of the Most High, until a perfect man, until the measure of the stature of the fullness of Yahweh Shai. OK, so notice in the first, he says some apostles, some prophets, some evangelists, some pastors and some teachers. It's going to be it's going to be deep, different brothers, man. The fact that these men have different offices like apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastors and teachers, they're going to be different individuals, man. You know, that's why you have some brothers who deep into the herbs. That's why you have some brothers who deep into art. That's why you have some brothers who deep in the movies. That's why you have some brothers who deep in the prophecy. You got brothers who got who got they thing, man. You know, but also, like I say, on a, just a personal individual level, when you dealing with a, another brother who you close with, who you see all the time, you know, <clears throat> like I say, you may be ready to uh, 
fellowship all the time. Anytime a brother call, you there to go. But then this another brother might be talking about he's sleepy, man. You know, like I said earlier, like, like I say, sleepy Jake, man. Does that mean that sleepy brother is wicked? No, he's not wicked. It's just different, man. Like I say, some some Jakes, they laid back. Some are high energy. Some kind of distant. You know, some you got to watch. Some wild. Some are loud. Some brothers be in the gym all day. <laughs> you know, and they have a, a regimen, a strict regimen that they deal by. You know, and it, it may just be contrary to just how you do things. You can't get with it. But is that brother doing what he got to do? Is he in the spirit? Is he doing the videos? Is he fellowshipping? Is all this happening according to the spirit? If, if that's happening, then good. Nothing really can be said to him. All right. This is verse um, 12 again. For the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of Yahweh Shai. And that's what it all leads to, man. The perfecting of the saints. Okay. And the work of the ministry. That's what it all goes back to when you go to the bigger picture of it all, man. But Lord willing, you brothers were edified, man. I'm, I'm, once more, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh, Shah, Wahah, Rakak, Wadash, double honest to the elders, the apostle Great Millstone, and honest to you brothers who are doing the work in, in sincerity and in truth. Shalom.